Hello everyone and welcome back to another screencast. Hopefully this is going to be enlightening. We're looking at highest common factor and lowest common multiple. And with these ones, when we have these bigger numbers and we can't use our more simplistic versions, we can use prime factor trees and Venn diagrams combined together to give us the answer much faster and with less mistakes. It is more difficult. It does take longer but you will be more reliable and if you already know how to do prime factor trees and Venn diagrams then you're going to find this pretty easy. So using product of primes to find out the highest common factor, the lowest common multiple. Let's just go over what a highest common factor is. It's a short way, <laughs> HCF, it's a sh HCF is a short way of saying highest common factor and we've got that mountain range. So remember we're looking at two numbers and we're looking at the factors of those numbers the highest common factor. What's the lowest common multiple? Well, LCM is a short way of saying lowest common multiple. So we're writing the multiples of numbers and we're picking the lowest one. I got multiples there, some twin twin brothers. Okay. What are pro product of primes? So remember we have our prime factor trees. We have one number, we have factors of 20. So let's think of factors of 20. We've got one and 20. Now Remember, one's not a prime number. So now I'm going to go for the next prime number, which is 2. 2 times 10. So I'd write that down because 2 is a prime number, 10 is not. As long as one of them is prime, I'm happy. Then I'd say, OK, what about 10? I've got to get that down so they're all prime. 2 times 5. 2 is prime, 5 is prime. I'm finished on that one. So I can write that down. 20 equals 2 times 2 times 5. Now I wouldn't put this in index form, I would leave it like this for these examples, but let's look at another number, 28. Again 2 is in the, uh, is, a multi, uh, is, in the is a factor of 28, so 2 times 14. 2 is prime, 14 is not. Let's look at numbers now. We've got 2 times 7 gives me 14. They're all prime, so I know I've finished. 28 equals 2 times 2 times 7. We're going to use this information with a Venn diagram to give us our answers. So now let's bring out the Venn diagram. Remember, the Venn diagram means we're going to share some information in the middle. Some of the uh, information is going to be unique to 20. Some of the information will be unique to 28. But some of the information will be the same in both. We're going to use the Venn diagram to help us find out the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor. Now, I would definitely, definitely pause the video once we've fully completed this and give these as an example. You're going to need to refer back to this question throughout all of the examples so that when you get to the quiz, you can do it really well. The lowest common multiple, we're going to multiply all the numbers together. I'll go over this, don't worry. Highest common factor, we're going to multiply the middle numbers. So let's just fill in the Venn diagram now. So for 20, I remember I said it was 2 times 2 times 5. The products of prime and for 28 is 2 times 2 times 7. But we can see here that in both lists I've got two twos. So what I do is I put those in the middle because they are shared between the factors of 20 and the factors of 28 or the prime factors. Products of prime of 20 and 28. But I have a number which is unique to 20 which is 5 and I have a number which is unique to 28 which is 7. So now that we've filled in our Venn diagram, I can say, okay, LCM is all of these numbers multiplied together. So I've got 5 times 2 times 2 times 7. If I multiply them all together, and you'll need a calculator, is 140. But the highest common factor is just these two numbers multiplied together, which is fantastic, isn't it? How quick and easy that one is. So 2 times 2 is 4. So now the big thing is, is that are you going to be someone that just watches this video or are you going to be someone that pauses and does the questions along with me? If you just watch, you will not learn. You need to fully, fully be active on this one. So let's do this one together. So you might want to pause when you feel you need to do and then uh, play when you need to check. So let's go over the prime factor tree of 16. Let's start with two easy numbers, 2 
uh, 2 times 8. So now we're going to go for 8. What are the... Um, what are the numbers? What are the factors of eight? One needs to be prime. One cannot be prime. So we've got two times four. And then we've got four, which is going to be two times two. 36. We've got three times 12. Two times six. And two times three to finish it off. Let's list those numbers now. 16 equals two times two times two times two. Look, two times two times two times 2, and 36 equals 3 times 2, well, or 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. It doesn't matter which order you do them. I always like to put them in order because it becomes easier when we're looking for numbers that are shared in both, uh, you know, and that go in the middle of the Venn diagram. And I can see here that I've got this 2 and this 2 that are shared in this in here. Now, these are not shared because we've got four of them and we've only got two of them here. And these are not shared either. So let's put these twos, I think, in here for a start. Yes, let's do that. So two and two go in there. This represents these numbers. And let's put our shared information in the middle. So I've got my other two twos for both. And then obviously I've got my threes here that I need to put on this side of the Venn diagram as well. So the LCM is found by multiplying all the numbers in the Venn diagram. So I'm going to multiply all these numbers together. So I've got 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And that equals 1, 4, 4. And then I've got the highest common factor, which is just these two numbers multiplied together. So I've got 2 times 2, and that equals 4. And that is how you do it. It is, I would say it's as simple as that. There's a lot of working that goes into these, but it is a simple process if we know what we're doing. So now you definitely want to pause the video. You definitely want to give this one a go on your own and only come back when you're feeling confident or you really need some help. So pause the video, give it a go. Uh, I'll bring up the other information for you to help you out. But then from now, pause the video, give it a go and come back and see if you're on the right track. So let's do the prime factor tree for 15. I've got 3 times 5. They're both prime. I can stop there. What about 35? Much tougher this one, wasn't it? But 5 is a prime number. Normally we're working with 2s and 3s, but on this occasion it would be 5. And it would be 5 times 7. So that's it. Because they're both prime, we are finished. We write them down. 15 equals 3 times 5. And 35 equals 5 times 7. Are there any numbers that are the same in both? Yes, we, yes there are. There is the 5. But I've got this 3 and the 7 that I need to put uniquely. So let's put the, that unique number in there, 3. Let's put the shared number, 5, and then 7. So the LCM is 3 times 5 times 7. And that will give us 105. And then we've got the numbers found in the middle. is just obviously 5 on its own. So the answer would be 5. Highest common factor is 5. Now, this is quite a long quiz question, a lot of work to do. You know, use those product, uh, those, those prime factor trees and the Venn diagrams to work out the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor of all of this information. It's going to take you quite a while. Give it a real good go. Come back and see if you've got it correct. If you are struggling, you need to go back and watch the video again and again before you do the quiz. Good luck, everyone. Way you go. Time for our answers now. Here we go. We've got our answers for 14 and 22. Our lowest common multiple is all of these numbers multiplied together. 7 times 2 times 11. And then we've got our 2 in the middle. I haven't actually put the answer there, have I? Have I? I haven't put the answer there. I've got to work that out for myself. I've got 7 times 2 times 11. And that gives me 154. We've got 2 in the middle. Lowest common multiple here is 3 times 2 times 3 times 5, and that gives us 90, and then 2 times 3, which gives us 6. Lowest common multiple over here is uh, 2 times 4 times 2 times 5 times <laughs> 3 by 3 times 3. Oh, crikey, is 144, and we've got 2 in the middle. So hopefully you did really, really well on that. If you haven't, look back, see if there's anything that screams at you that uh, 
is out of place from my working to your working and then backtrack from there. But hopefully you've done well. It's not an easy one, but the more we do it, the better we get and the faster we'll be in our exam. So well done for sticking in there. As always, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening and it's been a pleasure helping you with your maths today. Thank <laughs> you.